the gentleman from Florida. Now I recognize the gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Tiffany. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Let me follow up on that. Um, Sheriff, do you believe the United States government has control of the um, border here with Mexico? I, I believe that we are trying and our Border Patrol partners are trying very hard, but the cartels are the ones that are creating the narrative and controlling the activities all along the 2,000 miles of international boundary. Do you have the ability to identify migrants who are inadmissible to the United States for criminal reasons or prior deportations? We do not have access to that. Is ICE or CBP actively assisting you in processing the migrants in your, in your charge? In, in the law enforcement aspect, we work with them quite a bit in regards to those that are in my jail. As far as the immigration side, that is something that is not in our wheelhouse. I can tell you that because of their constraints that I've actually cross-deputized our federal partners and the different entities to be able to seek cha state charges against individuals that the U.S. Attorney would not charge for crimes. Have you had, say that last part again. The well, part in regards to the United, United States, States Attorney not wanting to charge an individual for a crime, then I've cross-deputized them so they could take that case to a county attorney to get prosecution. Have you had any detainers wow, issued by ICE for migrants in your facilities? Yes, I have. As a result of the illegal migration coming across our border, are they harming the environment? Absolutely. The, the vast amount of trash, pharmaceuticals, garbage, clothing that's being dumped along our river corridor it has been astronomical and the impacts for our farmers and their fields as well. When we had a hearing just a couple weeks ago, we had a Judge Sam Diego from, I believe, El Paso and Sheriff Daniels on the panel, and they had very divergent um, statements to say in regards to um, uh, in regards to fentanyl, that the reason for fentanyl, uh, the expansion of its use in our country and the devastating consequences, was not because of the border being open. That was the case being made by Judge Samaniego. Sheriff Daniels said that it is a result of the borders being opened over the last couple of years that fentanyl use and its um, migration into the United States has gone up expen exponentially. Um, who's correct? I will tend to support Sheriff Downell's <laughs> statement in regards to that. And I would agree with his statement as well. So um, you've seen, are you saying you've seen the same thing as Sheriff Downell's in Cochise County? We have seen the same type of activity where individuals were recruited to come and pick up individuals that had uh, entered this country illegally between a port of entry and come to pick them up because it's a money-making adventure. And they've also been uh, found to be in possession of narcotics, too, at the same time. Has Secretary Mayorkas secured the border? No. Uh, I just have one further question and a final statement, Mr. Chairman. Um, do any, uh, to Dr. Trenchell, do any of the NGOs out there, non-governmental organizations, um, have they compensated you for any of the uncompensated care that you're providing for migrants? No, they have not. We've not received any compensation from anyone. Thank you. I'm just going to close with this. You know, folks, set aside, we've had the no, most number of people that are on the terror watch come across our border in the last couple of years in the history of the United States of America. You can set aside the human trafficking. You have the largest, your, your United States government via the Biden administration is running perhaps the largest human trafficking or complicit in perhaps the greatest, um, biggest um, human trafficking operation in the history of the world, along with the cartels, along with the International Organization of Migration, a United Nations outfit, and others. Set those things aside. Just fentanyl alone should be a national emergency in America, and I can't believe we do not have colleagues on the other side of the aisle that are not here today, and even if they're not here today, that are not calling for the same thing that we're calling for. At a minimum, secure the border to stop the fentanyl, or at least reduce the amount of fentanyl coming into America that is made 
every state, including my state of Wisconsin, a border state. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, John. Well done.